things manage to sound like a pretty damn good sounding old tube radio. They don't actually sound like hi-fi speakers because they're sort of not. These were designed in 1961 when hi-fi was already a thing, but it's a bit relative. Uh, it's a very easily stretchable thing, the hi-fi range. Uh, and I've been having some fun reading the, the specifications on these because the frequency range is officially 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It, it gets nowhere near either of these numbers. Uh, and then below that it says 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz plus minus 3 dB. So now I'm sort of curious how, how much deviation there is in the, in, the, in the sound pressure when it comes to that 40 to 20 kilohertz range. Uh, there's not a lot there. I would say they go from 60 to about 13 kilohertz, to 60 hertz to about 13 kilohertz, and that's it. Uh, but they do sound very charming, and I'm not sure if you noticed, these were uh, stored in an attic of an old man who, uh, who died, and uh, their daughter gave them away. My dad picked them up, or actually Alexander picked them up for my dad, they still have to go there. Uh, I don't think they, these were used a lot, because I noticed yesterday when I tried them first, and now again, they really need some time to loosen up. In the beginning there was barely any low end, and it got better and better and better. So these need some play time to come to their full quality, but in the meantime they are very charming. And this logo is on its side for some reason, which is really annoying, but I can't fix it right now. Uh, and they look absolutely awesome with their wooden cabinets, their teak, and their blue retro uh, finished uh, covers, and the little classic B&O logos. Now I don't really know what units are in these, it's a cone tweeter and uh, some big woofer. Uh, it's a closed enclosure, it's actually not that not that rigid, it's a, it's a bit cheaply made, but this was the early days of Bang & Olufsen. They handle a total of 10 watts, well 15 watts peak, but let's not go there. And it's kind of funny, we just did the, uh, the JVC woodcone speakers, of which there's a video up there. And uh, they are tiny little full range speakers that are pretty efficient because they're supposed to be driven by a, a little stereo system. So I figure let's leave the volume knob where it is, hook these up and see which ones are most more efficient. And with exactly the same settings, we were completely blown away by how loud those play. And I was like, oh my god, let's turn it down. This is some proper efficiency. It actually doesn't say how much, but these are the kind of speakers you want to run with some vintage uh, tube amplifier. Because probably 2 watts is enough to drive them just fine. Uh, and that's awesome. So I would recommend, because they have absolutely no value, like 30, 40 bucks buys you a pair. I would recommend picking them up and having some fun with them because they're incredibly charming speakers. Are they hi-fi? No. Do they sound great? Not really. But they do put a smile on your face and in many ways that is more important. Also if you have like a record store or an old-time an old cafe or something, they're great for that because they just sound cozy. Awesome.